Hero887 here, welcoming you awesome sidekick subscribers and viewers out there today to day number 60 of the countdown to Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of Mordor released October 10, 2017, is 60 days away from now, and each day I do a countdown of daily gameplay of the first game, Shadow of Mordor, and as you know, also a daily a uh, little bit of information released about Shadow of War. So what are we going to talk about this episode in particular? We're going to talk about open world maps and specifically about the regions and what we can expect from that. So, well, a lot of players, a lot of players had uh, been upset about, I would say, or their one gripe about the Shadow of Mordor, the first game, was that the map was just simply too small. And after you played it for a while, like I have, you start to kind of feel the same thing. That the general scope and the general open world format that we've all come to love with Shadow of Mordor and that Monolith has put out is just simply too small, especially compared to some of those other games out there, RPG games that give you open world experience. Uh, well, namely, uh, Minecraft? Yeah, it's infinite, right? But in this scenario, uh, Shadow of Mordor is quite limited. Now, of course, Shadow of Mordor is not like Minecraft, so we can't really compare it necessarily. But what I do want you to know in Shadow of War is that there's a much massively larger open world map to expect in Shadow of War. What do I mean by that? Well, if you've seen the trailer, the gameplay trailer, you know that you can select various regions inside of a huge map. Originally uh, created by Tolkien, one of my favorite authors, and so we can really see the whole middle of Earth, it seems like, and on and, and, and top of all that, what you also have is miniature fortresses uh, within each of those regions. So of each region, it's not so miniature once you get in it, however, and that's the awesome part. So I want to tell you that in each one of these regions you try to conquer, each region will have its own wilderness. Each region will have its own mission set. Oh, uh, all of this is going to be expansively just blown out of the water compared to Shadow of Mordor. So what we can expect is much bigger maps than Shadow of War Mordor could have ever offered. And the devs have confirmed it. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'd love to hear your feedback below. Um, leave a comment below what you think about that. Obviously, it's going to equate to many more side missions, many more uh, opportunities, and just, frankly, fun times. So uh, one thing that's going to be great is the Nemesis system, which we're not going to talk about in this uh, particular episode. But what I want to mention is that a larger map opens up so many more possibilities, and I'm ex super especially excited about that. Let me know what you are looking forward to with those open world maps, and leave a question below in the comments if you have furthermore. I hope to answer in a future episode, perhaps during the gameplay. But without further ado, I've talked enough now. Let's jump into some Shadow of Mordor gameplay. By the way, the gameplay you're seeing right behind you is the Lost gameplay, as I'm titling it. It is some of the gameplay I did off screen, off camera, um, and I will have behind the scenes of every one of these commentating uh, introductions as we've become to love. So I hope you've, you've been enjoying some of the Shadow of Mordor content, uh, but also I hope you've been liking some of these awesome little tips and tidbits from the developers at Monolith Productions. Well, without further ado, let's jump into some gameplay. Welcome to some Mordor gameplay. Um, oh, and a uh, bad way to start off here, right, with uh, this Captain Dude here. Um, so apparently, uh, I was trying to free these slaves, and then this dude comes along and shows up as the slave master here. But we're just gonna make quick work of him. Actually, we're gonna try to see if we can't grab him. Oh, too late, he's got some buddies. I guess, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and blow this guy's head off. That's a new ability I've obtained recently. Let's see if we can't uh, interrogate this dude's face. Oh, somebody grabbed us just right in that moment. All right, well, arrow to the head will do. Freeing of the slaves shall happen. Yeah, that's right. Run off, you fools. Uh-oh. This guy's like, No, you don't. <laughs> You're dead now. All right, fantastic. Oh, you smell something too? All right, well, not for long. Your head's gone. Oh, I love it. So, fantasticness. Anyways, um, so as you recall in the previous episodes... I was attempting to try to kill a war chief, and that is still on the agenda. Actually, I just want to get this waypoint first. And then we're going to move right over into the war chief situation. Actually, where is that little health bush? Because I could use some health at this moment. Looks like it's down here. Ah, yes. 
There we go. So anyways, what I was saying um, is that I'm, I was attempting to kill the war chief, and since then I've done some off-camera gameplay, in which I told you I would try my best not to do, un and you know, try to go as uncut as possible. And uh, the uh, compromise that I made for you guys is, in the beginning of the um, gameplay, as you know, we do commentary, or at least I do a little bit of um, informational gathering um, time and talking about what kind of features we can expect in Shadow of War. So um, that's basically what I've been doing. I've been showing the content of the, what you've missed. So you can kind of watch in the background as well as, um, you know, listen to what I have to say about the awesome stuff to expect in Shadow of War, which I'm still so pumped about. And we have many more episodes to roll out before here and then. And I hope you guys are excited as much as I am about it because it's going to be so great. All right, now that we got that tower, we're going to run over here and see if we can't now conquer this war chief. And um, let me just quickly show you all what I've been busy up to doing. Um, have you noticed the army? <laughs> it's been taken out pretty seriously bad. So I've been busy B, my friends. And uh, currently, he has no friends to defend him this time. So he's a lot more, um, let's just say he's a lot more vulnerable. So we're bringing back the chick, and she's going to come do some action with killing. And it's going to be great. Let's get rid of these guys for you. Free the slaves. Blow your heads off. All right. Now, moving along. Um, so, as I said, War Chief time. We're going to see where he is in this here hut. He's probably the only guy in here right now. There's a shield guy over there. But, oh, here we go. Here's our way in. Thank you for letting me in. Just gonna kill you. Uh oh, someone saw that? Oh, dag nabbit here. We're just gonna blow him to smithereens. That'll, that'll help. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, I have to like capture the slave or something. Oh no no, I gotta start the mission. Silly me. What am I thinking? I've been so consumed with um, commentary. I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Oh, he's just arrived already. Dang, that was simple. <laughs> it's just right there. All right, this dude's definitely going down this time. Hands down, guaranteed. Man, look at those white eyeballs. He's one scary dude. All right, so let's take a look at his stats. Can do damage by combat finishers and explosions. Unfortunately, we already did an explosion. He has a poisonous weapon. Let's see if we can't draw him away from his soldiers. That'll be nice. All right, so here we go. We're gonna draw him away. That's that's not too bad. All right. Hey, you remember me? Manfield. Well, I'm not quite a man in skin here. This men folk would have the decency to stay dead. Well, sorry, I was so indecent. But in this scenario, we're gonna do some combat finishes on you, fool. And uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be history. You're gonna be toast. What? You're kidding? Well, we're gonna do a little stealth action. Oh, he's att attracting some friends. Oh no! I should have run when the battle turned. That's right, you should have, fool. All right, now that was way more simple, wasn't it? I knew I'd come up with a solution, and I didn't even have to make use of. There you go, girl. Get that kill. Yeah. Yeah. 70 power. And what? 10 health on combat execution kills. Not too bad. Alright, so that's a pretty good way to start off the episode. As I said, it was so easy. I didn't even have to activate the um, flaming sword of death killing. Um, so that's always fantastic. And uh, I gathered a lot of intel to try to make that easier and get their weaknesses and stuff. So um, super easy stuff. Let's set this as the waypoint. It's a trap. Sounds like Star Wars. It's a trap! Teleport action here. Let's see if the girl can't take out all the war chiefs. That's going to be so insulting for all of them. So, it's a trap. Defeat war chief's bodyguards before confronting him. We're looking for Ratlug, the literate one. That's interesting. So, he's not illiterate, he's literate. The literate one. I love it. <laughs> I think this story progression is going pretty good. I think we're still under 20% though, honestly. So there's way more content to come. And uh, oh yeah, and I also collected all the stuff here. That was nice. 
All the little trinkets hiding within stuff. He believes he draws us into a trap. Let us not disappoint him. Yeah, good idea, Kelebrimbo. Okay, so enter the trap. That's that's all that's it. Let's do a little teleport. Thank you for the little um, waypoint to teleport to Dead Man. So it's over there. You climb, girl. You get up there. And that's a bit of a leap. Well, let's take it. Oh. Hi there. <laughs> yeah, you're gone now, boy. Just no one worry. There's just a girl sneaking in through the camp. All right. So that's a lot further than I thought. Oh, I remember this mission. I've done this one before. I remember it being pretty intense. I think largely because of the... Oh, we got to stay in bounds here. Pretty close to being out of bounds. Largely because of the extra war chiefs that came along, I remember. But in this scenario, I've already killed all of his bodyguards. So here's a bodyguard we're gonna make quick work of. Good boy! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, you fool! And then you're next. And then you guys, I'm gonna make such quick work of you. It's not even gonna be funny. Let's see if we get a double, double. Nope, just gonna get a headshot on him up some arrows and then um, there's an archer up there somewhere oh we can poison the grog I think I'll do that that might be good for safe measure in the future I don't even think I had to come in here now that it now that it looks the way it looks all right no problemo no problemo man I want to kill that archer though he's gonna be trouble later you just wait you wait and see, boys. That archer's gonna be gonna mess with us big time. So we're gonna go ahead and try to go up right here and um, take him out, kill another war chief. Yeah, this will be easy. Hello, bump it. Oh, cracked the neck. Man, she's got more muscles than I do. I mean, it's not like I've cracked anyone's necks before, but still, maybe it's not that hard. I don't know. My chiropractor does it all the time, right? So this should be easy. Uh oh, look who it is. Rot Lug. He's a shielder. And he might even have the ability to um, stop from bolting. Oh, dude, he's vulnerable to stealth finishers. <laughs> this guy's toast. Okay, as soon as he comes around the corner. Stealth move! No, what? What happened? Like what, what, the, what the happened? Why didn't. I, I don't even know what happened, guys. Strategy. Maybe because I was stuck on the stupid wall? Oh no, this is trouble. Oh, he's charging. Like a fool. Whoa. This isn't going well. Okay. Well. Can he be pinned? Yes, he can. That's that's the way to go about it. go a little gut punch a little swing in the head punch there and then uh, shoot you in the foot again boy there's like no one out here too he's like totally abandoning his there's no comrades to save you fool you're just gonna get stabbed in the head a bunch of times try to throw me off it's not gonna work you're gonna get the next stab from a chick all right not a problem we're just gonna blast your foot again and then go combat crazy. Oh! This is but a setback. Oh, you're glowing! All men will die beneath Sauron's shadow! Sure, pal. Right to the face, come on! No, oh, you're blocked with a shield twice? No longer. No longer, Ratlug! And there goes his head. Simple as that. He's like so amazed that a chick defeated him! Even with his shield, uh, it wasn't enough. What do we pick up? I'm excited to see. Wraith burns, 33 chance to cause Eric's heads to explode. 
All right, well, there you go, 82. Um, that's pretty nice. Maybe get some upgrades, some weapon runes, some something, something, something. Uh, no, we got 276 more power points to go, so it's quite a ways off. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and cut this episode here. I hope you enjoyed the chick taking on some awesome war chiefs. That was pretty easy, must say, really simple. And uh, one thing I'm looking forward to the Shadow Wars is going to be a lot more challenging. And even have, um, well, I don't want to spoil it. You're going to have to watch other episodes to hear about what I have to say about um, the difficulty increase with the upcoming. So come, make sure you come. Uh, uh, check out the next day's episode as again we're uploading daily content that is i hero 87 your host and so uh come check it out i hope you do and uh don't forget to leave a comment below about the stuff i talked about in the very beginning of this video and love the dialogue with you all awesome people about that all right well this is hero 87 signing off later